Hi guys, today I wanted to give you a first quick look at Android Lollipop on the OnePlus One, share my experience with it, what I think about the speed, things I like, things I don't like so much and talk a little bit about the features. So let's dive right into it and show you what we are dealing here. Because this is no final version, this is no stable version yet, even though I had no real issues with the stability. It is a Cyanogen mod nightly from today. I flashed it and since this is a really early build, there are not really any Cyanogen mod features yet. We have the key binding options for the buttons. We have a few more tiles than usual. I think flashlight and invert colors is there. And pretty much otherwise we are stuck. Of course, there is also one little detail here. We have the reboot option, but otherwise it is stuck. And I want to show you a few features right now. The first thing already, as you can see here, is the lock screen notifications. And the next thing I like a lot, because I'm using Nova Launcher right now, it doesn't come with the Google Now Launcher, you have to install it yourself, but I use Nova since I like that more. And the good thing is I have the option for swiping down to get access to my notification drawer. And the good thing here right now is, if I usually wanna access this notification, I have to stretch up really far up top. But the good thing here is right now, just swipe once again, and there is no issue with reaching that. And the same works also if you want to access the tiles. So definitely this is a nice thing. The another, another feature which I like a lot and I was wishing for that a long time ago in the sound options are the interruption options where you can set up the do not disturb mode. This is absolutely great. One feature I don't like so much is the recent apps which as you can see here you don't see more than three apps at one time. Not the most intuitive way, yes, it looks very nice, but it just isn't really that convenient. But I also will complain about that a little bit later because I have some grab. But first I want to show you another thing and that is the speed. If you can see here right now, there is really no lag at all. If it maybe reloads something or has to sync, then yes, but otherwise this is completely super smooth, 60 frames smooth, no lag here at all. If we check Amber, the same thing here, if you can see super smooth, no real delay in anything you do. If we go into Google Plus and which is really resource of internet stuff, you can see even that one with the latest version works very pleasantly. I have no complaints here. And compared to the Nexus 9, there is a big difference here if in the touch response. Because on the Nexus 9, I had the issue apps slowly loading and there was always a delay and from what I know it has something to do with the encryption of the system of the Nexus 9 and the Nexus 6 itself. This device isn't encrypted and as you can see here there is no real delay in anything you do. Everything loads in an instant and the same goes also for the recent app switch. Usually you always have to wait a little bit but here it works absolutely fine. Nothing to complain. Performance absolutely great. And the one thing I wanted to complain a little bit about, but it's not really complaint since it's optional. As you can see, Chrome, this is the official version and you have the tabs as you know them. But with Android Lollipop, we got the feature so it, they are live in the recent app switcher. And that's a, a little bit disappointing thing, but the good thing it is optional. As you can see right now, I have no option to switch my tab. The only option is get into the recent app switcher. And as you can see, this is the active tab I had. And if I want to check my other tab I had open, I have to search in my recent apps where, and here it is. So I don't think this is intuitive. Now, of course, they are combined, but as you saw, they were far apart. And this is really not intuitive and you want to have a lot of browser tabs open. So I would say turn off the option and get the old option back so you can have them both in the app. Definitely the way better thing. But as I said, the device is way more responsive right now. And I also complained on the Nexus 9 review about slow animations. I'm using 0.5 right now. And as you can see here, the animations aren't slow anymore. So it was a Nexus 9, maybe due cost to the encryption, but I'm totally fine with the animations right now. And in terms of performance, I think this is pretty much the fastest device I've seen. And I have to say, compared to the um, Sony Xperia Z3, it isn't that much smoother. It is a little bit, everything is just a tad smoother. But the good thing here, it is absolutely consistent. There are no lags or slight delays. Everything is just a little bit more consistent. But this will come with the Xperia Z3 once it gets Lollipop. But so far, what I have to say about Android Lollipop, all the goodies are here. I have lock screen notification, which I usually missed. I have 
pop-up head and um, pop-up notifications i have the quick setting styles i have the really nice animations from android lollipop we have the do not disturb mode and all the other things you usually expect from i can't go into detail or i won't go into detail of all the other lollipop features because i am pretty sure you have seen them by now but in terms of performance and features I'm really so impressed what I see so far from this ROM and yes this is a very early version of CyanogenMod so far and a lot of things are missing and it isn't maybe the, stable, the most stable one but so far I didn't have any real issue. Everything was fine. I had once or two options maybe in the settings that force closed but otherwise everything is good to go. So if you like this review please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and if you have any, any own opinions on Android Lollipop, please share them with me in the comments because I would really like to know what you think, especially if you maybe tried it already on the OnePlus One. So let me know and until next time, bye.